when the trial began. This was a big major event, so it was a real circus. The prosecution, their entire case was the tape. R. Kelly and an underage girl having sex. They turned down the lights and they put it on and it was, it was grim. Like you hear things, but to see it visually and for her to be so young. <laughs> My oldest brother did get on the stand and he said that it wasn't her. It wasn't my niece on the tape. Before the verdict came down, I saw Sam Adam Jr. who was sitting next to R. Kelly turn to him and say, we did everything we could. And the mood in the room was very much that he was about to be a condemned man. The series everyone is talking about. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Music made him an icon, but behind closed doors made him a monster. We're talking about R. Kelly and the Lifetime series Surviving R. Kelly. In today's video, we go over the damning, heartbreaking telling documentary they just did last week. And if Lifetime wants to keep the discussion going, they can make a numerous amount of these documentaries with not just R. Kelly. They can do them based on Harvey Weinstein, the current occupant of the White House, Kevin Spacey, Bill Cosby, the Catholic Church, and so many others that have engaged in less than scrupulous, nefarious behaviors if they want to keep getting ratings. I would like to also shout out, before we get into the video, a YouTuber named Tasha K, who dropped a whole lot of information about this type of thing back when high scrutiny was going on, when people didn't even know these type of activity was going on with R. Kelly. And another shout out to my high school classmate, Tiffany, who requested this video, and she wanted me to mention, get the hashtag going, you too, which means if you sympathize and plan to continue to support a child predator and a serial child rapist, you too are sick. And also, if you have no sense of self-worth and still want to lay down with this man after he's done all this just because you want to get money, fame, power, and celebrity, you two are the problem. Let's dive into the video. The handlers that surrounded him, the court case, the sex tape. Y'all might remember Dave Chappelle popping up with the All that, they go in depth with all that to try to give you a better understanding of the gravity of what's going on with R. Kelly and why underage in their states, them, the ones that stuck around and tolerated this kind of behavior because they had a choice that they could have made from the very beginning. There was one young lady who made it known she was a full adult, she had heard about the stuff R. Kelly was doing and she still made the choice to go after R. Kelly and do to prevent your child from being put in that stuff in that situation even if it means you put their ass in your house in their bedroom under lock and key and say no you're not going to be dealing with r kelly next some culpability has to be put on the handlers of r kelly the yes men in his life the yes people that still stayed there seen this behavior acted like it was cool allowed it to keep going because they wanted to keep getting a paycheck for r kelly they get some responsibility too because there was opportunities they could have stepped in, checked R. Kelly, even called the police if they wanted to, to make sure that people don't keep getting hurt as they go down the line of this path with R. Kelly. My next point, if you're wondering why men of power or people of power haven't come forth in the past to talk about these issues, you have to know that probably in some circles, there are people of power that love talking about how they dangle their power, their extension to getting someone to come up in their face with sexual favors, with deviancy, with all kinds of stuff, and they enjoy doing that. A lot of people behind the scenes knew about this stuff, in particular men, and they ain't say nothing. Didn't do nothing, didn't speak out, didn't go against them, because they talk about this stuff. A lot of people with power talk about the different the different attributes they get with having and he still got his income stream coming in how do you control him 
when you have this entity versus some young entity or some entity who's broken, doesn't have money, bad finance, and they meet him at the crossroads. The power at that point is on these.